Hello there, my name is Maher Haddad. Today I'm going to show you how to configure HOT Standby Router Protocol or HSRP. So let's go to the lab. So the lab scenario is you work as a network engineer in a company. Your company consists of one access layer switch SW1 and two core layer switches SW2 and SW3. So this is the, the access layer switch and two core layer switches SW2 and SW3. Your CTO has asked you to configure HSRP on the core switches so in case one switch fails then the second will take over. So uh, the tasks are you have to configure IP address and, and the gateway on PC1 and then configure IP address on VLAN 1 for both SW1 and SW3. Alright so PC1 is a, is a router but I will uh, yeah it will be acting as a PC. Alright so let's go to PC1 I go to interface fast Ethernet 0 over 0. I put IP address 192.168.0.1 and no shutdown. Of course, I have to speed uh, the plex full. And uh, here I have to say also no IP routing, so it will act as a PC. And then I have to put a default gateway. 192.168.0.254 This 254 is basically the virtual IP address which I'm going to create it when I do the HSRP. Alright, so now I have to put for the VLAN 1 on SW2 Interface VLAN 1 Interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.0.2 and no shot and then on SW3 interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.0.3.55.0 and no shot so now let's check if we have a pink from PC1 to those two switches 192.168.0.2 it's okay 0 0.3 is fine all right so up to now uh, everything is fine now we have to enable hsrp on both sw2 and sw3 so here uh, we have to go to sw2 under the vlan interface vlan 1 i have to say standby and i have to put the group uh, number which is one for example and then the IP address, the virtual IP address, which I'm going to use is 192.168.0.254. And I will do the same for SW2. So I copy this comment and pass it here. So by this, you are creating a virtual IP address, which both uh, uh, core switches will agree on, which is 192.168.0.254. So one of the switches will become now active, and the second will become uh, standby. So let's check who is the active one. So let's, let's do show standby. This is the command to use. So now it's listening uh, on SW2. Let's try. Ah, you can see on SW3 is now active. So if I do show standby, and you can see here that the state is active. This is the virtual IP which we put for them. The MAC address is always 0000, and then 0C, that's Cisco, 07AC, that's HSRP, and 1 is the group we choose. And then the hello time is 3 seconds, hold time 10 seconds, so the switch will wait 10 seconds before they say that the other router is down, or the other switch, sorry, is down. Alright, so now SW3 is, active, is acting as active, and SW2 is acting as standby. So all traffic will go to SW3 in case SW3 it will fail then SW2 will take place um, to verify issue ping from PC1 to virtual IP address that you have created then try to turn that to this IP which which, which switch did you turn that to all right so I go to PC1 and I do ping 192.168.0.254 and I have I, I have success and if I do telnet and you can see when I turn that to this virtual IP address it takes me to SW3 because it's the active one okay excellent now 
Step number five, issue an extended ping to virtual IP address and switch off the switch elected as active. Did the link come back online? Come back online, tell, tell net uh, now to the virtual IP which switch uh, is, is you tell netting to. Okay, so now I have to go to PC1, I have to issue an extended ping. Repeat, uh, say 100,000, for example. So I have reply and then I have to switch off SW3. So let's suspend it. And see if SW2 will take uh, will take over or not. As you can see here, this has been fed a couple of of pinks and then directly it took over. And if I go to SW2 now, you can see that SW2 has moved from standby to active. All right? And uh, if I do now from PC1 telnet to 192.168.0.254, put the password, then you can see uh, it, it is now on SW2. Before it was on SW3. Okay. Okay, let's. Uh, Bring that back uh, online. I think uh, my SW2 is okay. It's back online now, and uh, the PC1 is freezing, so I have to close it and open it again. As you can see, I'm using GNS3. Okay, my GNS3 is freezing now. So I will stop the video for a while and come back uh, from where we uh, have finished, okay? Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have set the uh, uh, PC1 again. It's uh, working. Um, we have PC1 again uh, online. So let's continue the lab. Uh, number six here is say to make sure the make the configuration needed. So SW2 is always active switch and SW3 is standby. To do that, we have to do something called priority. By default, the priority is 100. You have to make the priority higher to be better. So here I have to go to SW2. I have to say interface VLAN one and then standby one, which is group one. And the priority, so default is 100, so I have to put, let's say, 120. And then here I have to say standby uh, 1 and preempt. So I do the preemption. So then uh, they check that this one directly is high, have a higher priority. Then it becomes the active uh, switch. So now if I do show standby. can see that now directly this one has become uh, active and uh, uh, we see the preemption is enabled and the priority for the standby router which is SW3 is 100 but our router is 120 so now um, if I do for example from PC1 I do a, a ping uh, 192.168.0.254 should be okay if I do telnet 192.168.0.254 and put the password then it takes me to SW2 so before it was taking me to SW3 um, so this is how to do it and now finally make the configuration needed so when the device internet uh, interface 1 over 1 is down on SW2 then SW3 can become the active switch so when, when this F1 over 1 uh, port is down then directly uh, SWC will know about it and will become the active switch. So now the active, active switch is on the SW2. So let's go to SW2. Inside interface VLAN 1. Um, like, I'm not sure if VL1 is correct, but yeah, interface VLAN 1. Here I have to say uh, standby 1. And there is the comment called track. So track, 
I want to track uh, the interface fast Ethernet 1 over 1. Um, so when it is down, uh, you have to make to decrement uh, the priority by, uh, let's say, a number which can make it lower than what we have on SWC. So on SWC, we have priority of 100, here 120. So if I do to decrement by 30, then when it's down fast Ethernet 1 over 1, SW2 has a priority, will have a priority of 90, then this one will go active. Uh, of course, you have also to go to SW3, and here you have to say uh, inside the interface VLAN 1, you have to say standby 1 and preempt. Alright, so let's test it now. Um, how can we test this? Let's on this SW2. I have to go to interface fast Ethernet 1 over 1 and do shutdown. Okay, so directly you can see that tracking has found that it, that it was up and it went down, and then this one went from active to speak. Then SW3 here should be active, as you can see here, it's active. If I do show. Uh, standby you can see now that the state is active uh, and you can see that the standby router has priority of 90 now because it has been decremented by 30 so here if I do again show standby on SW2 you can see here that the priority become 90 it was configured as 20 at 120 but become 90 because it tracked the interface fast Ethernet 1 over 1, it became down and it decremented by 30. So, if I go to the PC one now, I, get, I do a uh, ping now, it's still okay. If I do Telnet, it should take me to SW3, and that's correct. So, this is how to configure a hot uh, standby uh, router protocol, uh, HSRP. I hope you enjoyed this lab.